Hey everyone, I'm Sly, and I want you guys to listen to this audio clip from Matt Mayoko on his podcast. Kyle Shanahan has said that everybody is, you know, they'll listen to anybody, any team that's willing to talk trade. You know, they're willing to trade anybody for the right price. And I know his, his joke has been including me, uh, <laughs> not me, but Kyle Shanahan, of course. Uh -huh. um, so, you know, that if a team came to the 49ers, they would listen. And, you know, when you look at the Kansas City Chiefs, that kind of came out of nowhere a little bit when they traded Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins. But the Dolphins gave up a lot to get him, both in the contract they gave Tyreek Hill, but also the draft pick compensation that they gave the Chiefs. So that's where I think the 49ers would have to say, I, I doubt that the 49ers are going out there tr uh, you know, dialing the, the phones of 31 teams saying, hey, Debo Samuel's out here. Do you want him? That would get out and that would be, you know, big news. Mm -hmm. But if a team is willing or wants Debo Samuel, I mean, they have the 49ers phone number. All right, guys. After hearing that, we all know Matt Mayoko. He's the number one 49ers insider. He's the one that gives us all the knowledge. He knows more about the 49ers pretty much than everyone in the Bay Area. So after hearing that, to me, it makes sense. I mean, people I know are saying, oh, well, Kyle Shanahan probably said that a year ago. But the track record says <laughs> that we've done this in the past. We traded, we already traded away one of our studs, our pro bowlers in <laughs> DeForest Buckner. And he's someone, one of the only ones that was making the Pro Bowl year in and year out. Him and Juice are the are the only ones that would represent the 49ers in the Pro Bowl. And we got rid of him. So for people to say, oh, that was in the past. No, it just it happened before. So it doesn't surprise me that Kyle Shanahan would. <laughs> Everyone is on the table pretty much. He said even himself. So that just proves that Debo Samuel there's a chance he could be traded. And hearing the 49er fan base, a lot of the 49er fans, that's fine. They want, they think that he should be traded. Me, I just have a different philosophy, man. I say you always keep your superstars no matter what. If that means you have to go top heavy, just pay the top guys, and then pretty much play rookies on the bottom scale, the other guys, that's fine. Because you need your superstars in big games. Big players make big plays in big games. And Debo Samuel, I think, is one of those guys. He pretty much single-handedly led us to the NFC Championship game. So someone like me, if it's $25 million he wants, I say you got to do it. I say you got to do it. You have to pay him. So it's gonna, the negotiations are going to be tough. I know John Lynch, if someone calls them up and says, hey, we'll give you two first-round picks, what does John Lynch always say? We're going to do our due diligence. We're going to listen to everything that's on the table. So, I mean, for me personally, though, like two first round picks, someone gives the 49ers two first round picks for Debo Samuel. Is that going to be worth worth it? Do you guys think? I say no, just from the 49ers track record in the first round. Let's go back. Solomon Thomas, first round pick, second pick in the draft. We trade back one spot and we pick up Solomon Thomas. Bust, man. Horrible pickup. Same year, we trade back up in the first round for Ruben Foster. Bust. Character issues. He's off the team in two years. <laughs> then following year, what do we get? I believe it was Mike McGlinchey. Very average at best tackle. He really has not made a splash. No Pro Bowls. Um, he's been all right, man. He hasn't been great, the greatest. But, I mean... He for the eleventh pick, he's not worth it. Basically, pretty much, you know, the only one I could say that was a fur shire, <laughs> fur shire, uh, great pickup was Nick Bosa. The only one that was a great pickup was Nick Bosa, and I was obviously everyone would have picked up Nick Bosa. You know, the only one that didn't like Nick Bosa was Grant Cohn. He thought he was going to be a bust. Other than that, everyone pretty much that I know loved Nick Bosa. You know, so then the Javon Kinlaw. <laughs> A guy, honestly, so far his career has been a bust. Let's be real. I expect big things from him this year, but hasn't panned out well. Brandon Ayuk, last year, poor guy was in the doghouse. We didn't know what the heck was happening. You know, he finally got out of the doghouse. I thought played great. I think he's going to be a great player, too. I think he's going to have a thousand yard receiving in the year this year. So 
keeping my fingers crossed. I really believe that. But that's been our track record, guys. That's been our track record from this regime. And of course, Trey Lance, and hopefully he steps it up. I think he will. But that's that's it, guys. I don't think we could do that. I don't think we'll be able to match that, you know, for Debo Samuel. We have two first round picks. Say one of them hits, one of them doesn't. That's pretty much what it's been with the 49ers. Then what? Is he going to be better than Debo Samuel? I don't think so. If we pick up two receivers, do you think one of them is going to be better than Debo Samuel? I don't think so. So, like I said, we need Debo Samuel. I truly believe that, guys. I know a lot of people, 49 fans are saying, you know, get rid of him. But, uh, guys, like I said, I've been here before. I've been here with the T.O. days. And when he left, we just sucked. We sucked, okay, for like 8 to 10 years. So, I don't want to see that happen again. Debo Samuel, I believe, is the heartbeat of this team. I know the 49ers would entertain trading Debo, and that part does scare me. So we'll see, man. I think Matt Mayoko, he's onto something, though. He When he says something, you better listen because more, more than likely, you know, he is right. So let us know what you guys think. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.